and welcome to Curtain Academy. Today I'm going to be demonstrating how to make interline curtains. I'll also be showing you some of the various headings and hardware available and give you some tips on how to measure windows. So first of all, what you need to do is pull out the cords, approximately about 10 centimetres, and then trim away the excess tape. You then need to knot these cords. So first of all, knot the centre one and the top one, and then knot the centre one and the bottom one. And make sure you do this so it's really secure, because you don't want them being pulled out when you're gathering the curtain. Fold all of that underneath, and you want to place it at the top of the curtain, and pop it under the machine and just start with your needle in the fabric and something to bear in mind is when you start make sure you start so you've got a pocket quite close to the end but not too close because we need to machine down this edge so just machine a few stitches machine back and then back again just to secure that end and then follow the line that's provided on the tape. Every time you move your curtain, just make sure your needle's down into your fabric. Make sure you remove your pins. There's nothing worse than pins being in your curtain when you come to gather up. A note to remember is that half widths in curtains should always be placed to the outside edge of the window and full widths to the centre of the window. Always knot the cords on the leading edge of the curtain and leave the open cords on the outer edge. So when you get towards the end, just trim away any excess tape. Just say so you've got about 10 centimetres left and just pull out the cords. Just pull out the cords so they clear the side when we machine down this edge. When you've pulled the cords out, then you can trim back the tape even further and fold under. So machine all the way to the end. You want to turn the fabric round and just fold this edge in just to create a false mitre. And then lay the tape back down. And then we just need to machine down this edge. Secure backwards and forwards. At this point, just make sure you've got no pins left in your curtain. We then want to go back to the beginning. Just place your curtain under your machine and pop your needle down. And then again, just turn under the raw edges. just to create a false mitre and then machine down this side. Go forward, backwards and then forward again. Go down to the bottom line. And then we're just machining along this line all the way to the other end. Always make sure that you are machining the top edge and the bottom edge in the same direction just to prevent any twisting of the tape. Make sure you're keeping the curtain flat at all times so you're not getting any tucks and pleats in the tape. If 
this machine all the way to the end and then back and forwards a couple of times just to secure. And then we're ready to press.